In this video, I will be talking about data types in JavaScript. Now, JavaScript is dynamically typed language. What it means is that you don't have to define the type of the variables. So, a dynamically JavaScript will decide the type of the variables depending upon what kind of values you have assigned. So, if you say let a is equal to 10, a will give the type of number. If you put the string into that, it will give the type of string, so on and so forth. The types can be divided into two categories. First one is primitives. So as you can see this left column and the other one is reference types. So primitives are stored on the stack. So remember that in the JavaScript runtime there is a stack and a heap. So primitives are stored on the stack. While the reference type variables or we can call them objects. Objects are stored on the heap. Both are memory structures, but stack is faster, heap is slower than stack. So that is one major difference. Another difference is that primitives are passed by value. So if you are calling a function and passing the parameters, if those parameters are of primitive type, so if you are passing the number, begin, string, all these types, then what happens is that those values are passed by value. Means those values are copied to the function and then function call gets executed. But in case of these reference types or the object types, if you pass object and call a function, like if you pass the object as an argument to the function, then that object reference will be sent. So if you make changes in that object inside of the function that you have called, the changes will be reflected everywhere. So that is the major difference between primitives and reference types. So let us see what are the primitives. There is a number, begin, string, boolean, null, undefined and symbol. So symbol has been added recently. It is used to create the uh, get the unique values, okay? So which you can use as the properties of the objects. In the reference type, we have got array, function, map, set. Basically, all the objects that do not fall into these categories can be considered as reference types. That's it. That's all you need to know about these primitives and reference type in JavaScript. If you have more questions, do not hesitate to put the comments down below. Thanks for watching.